OK, how to create a flickering light in After Effects. Right, I've got um, some audio and I've got my video here. What I'm going to do is just drag the video down and create a composition from it. There we go, like that. Um, just check, I only want a short one, so let's just... Uh, duration, let's just take that down to maybe three seconds. Just to make the point. OK, so I've got some footage here, it's just generic kind of ink drops falling through the frame and now what I want to do is take my audio drag this down here as well and let's say so midway through this so I'll move this audio, it's just a short glitch, I'll move it to about there okay so the next thing I want to do is create um, keyframes from the audio so I select the audio, choose keyframe system, convert audio to keyframes okay so now this responds to the level of the signal of the audio itself right now um, what I'm going to do is link the opacity of the ink video to the audio. So it's going to flicker based on the volume of the <coughs> audio. So we do that by using the pick whip. So on this one, here we've got the ink. Um, so opacity, so alt click this. There we go. And also audio amplitude um, effects. Do it on both channels. If I um, now click and drag this up to the slider for both channels, there, like that. Now, as it stands, if we just play this back, this isn't going to be great because it's the wrong way round. Okay, so it's going to be dark most of the time. When it's zero, when there's no audio, it's going to be dark. So if we assume 100% is full opacity. We just need to alter this equation here. So we'll go in here. And what we'll do is say the value of this is 100 minus whatever is here. Okay, so this basically inverts what's going on. So just click away there. Now, this should be at normal brightness because the um, audio is at zero, so it's 100 minus zero. As the audio gets louder, it'll be 100 minus 30, 50. And so on. So now let's play this back. As you can see, that's starting to flicker entirely based on the audio itself. Okay, so if I just render this out to show you, file, export, add to render queue. Now we just need to make sure here that we're outputting the audio. So on the uh, output module lossless, Choose audio output, click OK. Now we'll click render. And this is going to be rendering to the desktop as Inc. 7. So it should take a moment. There you go. 